A nine year old girl from La Follette died after police say her 10 year old brother shot her. Investigators say the accidental shooting happened inside a car yesterday while one parent was running errands. 10 News reporter Shannon Smith explains the other details we know tonight about that case and what may happen next. Shannon. John, the La Follette Police Chief met with the Campbell County District Attorney today to talk about what's coming next, and we're still waiting to hear from them. But in the meantime, we talked to a local expert about what could be next for the brother and his family. In this parking lot off Jacksboro Pike in La Follette, tragedy struck. La Follette police say two kids were waiting in a car when the 10-year-old got a hold of a gun. He accidentally shot his sister, who died at UT Medical Wednesday night. The Department of Child Services is working with investigators and the Campbell County DA to decide what happens next. If you do it too much, <laughs> the public's on you. If you don't do something, the public will be on you. So it's, it's a fine line to, rep, to walk through, I think. Richard L. Bean has dealt with a lot of kids involved in accidental shootings. Either side is tough on everybody. He's the superintendent of the Richard L. Bean Juvenile Detention Center in Knoxville. He thinks it's unlikely the 10-year-old will be charged as police ruled it an accident. Somebody will probably get charged, but it's kind of hard to bring a 10-year-old in and charge him. And I mean, what do you do? Bean says it's possible the parents will be charged, but nothing is certain with the investigation still pending. According to the Safe Tennessee Project, at least 17 accidental shootings involving children have happened in Tennessee this year, and at least four of those ended in death. Bean says family will have a lot of pain to carry. It's hard when you get a kid that's accidentally shot somebody, and uh, because you have to worry about them here get, being suicidal, and then we'll have to you know, get them some mental health treatment and all that stuff. And uh, just it's hard on everybody. Now, again, we're continuing to keep in contact with the La Follette Police Chief for any more information. When we hear any updates, we will keep you guys posted. John.